Welcome back, worst engines or not. Today we are discussing one of the Ecotec 3 engine options from GM. We're gonna discuss the 4.3 liter LV3 engine. So this engine was released by GM in 2014. It was utilized all the way up until 2018. Aluminum block, aluminum cylinder heads, and this is the base model option in all of your Silverados and Sierras. The Ecotec 3 engines all have continuously variable valve timing, direct injection, and the cylinder deactivation system they that cylinder deactivation system is of course pretty well known to be problematic so of course this engine is not without its problems the cylinder deactivation system aka AFM is the active fuel management system if you don't already know it shuts off a couple of cylinders in the engine when you get to like a cruising speed to help save on gas and then whenever the vehicle senses that you need more power from your engine it turns on all of the cylinders again Despite GM making a lot of upgrades to the system, the lifters are susceptible to failure. I will pop up a picture here of what a collapsed um, AFM lifter looks like. So normally in any port injected engine, your fuel is going to be injected right before your intake valve. I'll pop up a picture here. And since it has to travel past your intake valve, your intake valve sort of, it sort of has a natural cleaning effect on the intake valve. So you don't have any issues with carbon buildup. However, this engine is a direct injection engine. I will pop up a picture of the direct injection here. This means that fuel is being injected directly into the combustion chamber, which means it does not have to move past that intake valve which means there is no natural cleaning process occurring. So in the unit that we took apart today, I will pop up some pictures of the carbon buildup on these intake valves. This does eventually start to affect performance. However, installing a catch can can help prevent major issues with this. Also, just keeping up with your proper maintenance can help a lot. Another downside of direct injection in this engine is the fact that your injectors get clogged. So in this engine, obviously your injectors are right there in the combustion chamber. This means that they are exposed to a lot of extreme temperatures. Eventually what happens is they do get clogged and of course this can cause performance issues as well. And last but not least, the third issue with direct injection in this engine is with the failure of the high pressure fuel pump. So direct injections need two fuel pumps. We have your low pressure fuel pump, which is going to actually bring fuel into the engine. And then we have your high pressure fuel pump, which pressurizes that fuel and sends it to the fuel rail. Typically we would expect any fuel pump to last to at least 100,000, but if you are not keeping up with your proper maintenance, specifically this fuel pump is likely to fail early. And last but not least on these, we do see some failure with the PCV valve. So your PCV valve can sometimes become clogged. It can get stuck open. It can get stuck closed. If any of those things happen, you have increased pressure building up in there, which means eventually that pressure has to go somewhere. So your seals are going to start leaking. Now, all of that being said, this is a very fuel efficient engine. So let's say you install a catch can. Let's say you do a DOD delete. This engine is likely to last you a very long time. I think if those are two things that you don't want to deal with, you should probably head in a different direction.